Every year, millions of angler days are spent fishing in lakes and reservoirs. Rivers kind of get overlooked, but they provide some great fishing opportunities too. And fisheries managers and fisheries scientists are learning quite a bit more about how rivers work. In a river, a lot of fish live out in the river. Being able to tolerate or use that flowing water to their advantage might give them a survival advantage. But very important to the river fish, even those that live in the main channel, are backwater areas like this here. Here, the fish might find essential habitat for spawning, for rearing their young. A lot of adult fish live back here, too. For the anglers, they're a great place to fish. You're away from navigation traffic, you're out of the flow, fishing's safer, fishing's easier, a lot of good cover to fish. We've learned a very important aspect of backwaters recently, and that is overwinter survival. See, a fish living in a flowing water, the winter has to spend a lot of energy fighting the current. But the backwaters not only provide refuge from the current, they also provide a thermal refuge. See, water has a unique property. It's most dense at 40 degrees. Most anglers know that a lake or reservoir in the summer stratifies warmer, lighter water on top of the cooler, heavier water. So now in a backwater in the winter, no current, it's going to stratify, but the light water, 32 degrees, is going to be on top, right under the ice. On the bottom, 40 degrees. Not balmy, but considerably warmer and enough to confer a definite survival advantage to the fish. Problem is, a lot of our backwaters are sedimenting in. They're getting shallower and they're accumulating organic matter. That means in the winter, the shallow environment, organic matter takes the oxygen out of the water and the fish have little choice but to stay in the backwater and suffocate or move and fight the current. In the upper Mississippi River, they're dredging some of the backwaters, directing a little bit of flow in there so it freshens the water. And now we've got a good habitat for the fish to survive over the winter. Kind of the same old story. Good habitat, good for the fish. Good for fish, good for fishing.